paddling a Southern Oregon Athabascans type, type canoe. Uh, if you look at it, it's made specifically for up river travel. There's no sharp edges on that canoe, so when you have uh, fast moving water, it will not catch an edge and, and spin it. You can sit in the eddies and just kind of pull your way up the river. On the outside, we have a Chinook style or West Coast style canoe, and it is made specifically for rush, for uh, not rush, but uh, for rough open water, specifically made for that. The origin of that canoe was believed to have originated on the Columbia River and through trade and through ancestral kinship tides, made it all, made it all the way down to the coast, all the way up to the west side of Vancouver Island in Canada, and all the way south here to Coos Bay, no farther south than Coos Bay. Thank you. Can you do again what tribes, what tribes are really are, uh, represented here? So the two tribes that we have out on the water right now are actually from the Coos, Lorumqua, and Sayusla Indians. They're just paddling in two of their dugout canoes. Uh, one is skippered by Mark Petrie, and the other is skippered by Doug Barrett. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Mark is. Uh, anybody know? Is he? Is he Milik Erhanis? Any any Coos people here, or is he Umqua? Anyway, they're from the Coos, Lorumqua, and Sayusla. What's the Indians. significance of this? Of significance of what? Of this of this race. Of this race, while well, they're very conflicted, they're racing themselves, obviously. <laughs> but this is, as well as the, as the lower Coquels, this is ancestral waters of their people. Um, this is what our ancestors have done, have always done, and we need to, to reconnect with that and remember and respect that. So, at least for them, you know, this is something that's very good for our, for our guests who are from other waters. It's just another way to connect with them doing the same fun things that we like to do uh, that, that highlight our heritage and our, our lineage, right? Yeah, perfect. All right, you guys, I'm going to run you down here. So can we so get everybody we are to give those guys a little bit of a At the Mill Luck let's, let's give a, a Salmon a Celebration in Coos Bay, Oregon, where tribes from up and down the coast of Oregon are here racing in canoes. Now, we don't call them boats because they're not boats, they are canoes. And uh, you don't call it rowing because it's actually pulling or paddling. we have out here is mock, mock. And uh, right. if you so say the word boat, the they throw you in the water. <laughs> so I have to be really careful. Um, so I'm gonna show you, this is right outside the Mill Casino. And, uh, Again, so that's them out there in the water. And these are the dugout canoes. So they're super cool looking. I'm gonna see if I can bring this in. It's not letting me. They'll be coming by here in just a second. So again, we are in Coos Bay and this is, we're gonna be coming to you live all day from the salmon bake, showing you different um, aspects of tribal life. Um, we're doing right now, this is the dugout canoe race. Uh, several tribes are represented in each of these canoes and uh, they go the length of this um, boardwalk here which doesn't sound hey Harry from Scotland um, it doesn't sound that far to you <laughs> but you're, if you're in a boat and you're pulling with one of those paddles um, it's a long way so in a little bit uh, my wife Kathy is going to be joining the women as they race and we're going to go out in that little orange boat right there and we're going to follow along right next to them so you guys can see what this is like from right there in the water. If you do me a favor while you're watching this and share this right to your page, other people will be able to see it. Um, as you can see, um, the newer um, canoe is ahead. Now, yes, they have more people, but it's also shaped differently, more modern. The, the dugout in the back is like the original, what, what the indigenous people would have used here. So it's heavy, it's thick, it's big, and so they don't have the advantage. Is that the Mill Casino in Coos Bay? Yes, it is, Danny. We are at the Mill Casino. And you guys, this is an event. You can come down and have a salmon dinner. I think it's 25 bucks or $17. You can look online and find out. But it's going on all day today and tomorrow. The canoe races are today. And uh, these are tr a lot of them are tribal members from the different tribes uh, meeting here. And we're going to talk to some of the tribal folks later from the different tribes um, all coming here to just kind of get together um, 
but it's also about really educating the public and teaching the rest of us who are maybe Oregonians or native Oregonians what the indigenous Oregonians were really all about. Long before Oregon was Oregon, uh, these people's families um, lived here. Um, they started this place. <laughs> they, were, they are the true ancestors of Oregon. And here they come. I'm having a little trouble with the zoom, so I can't zoom in on them, but it's a beautiful day here in Coos Bay. Oh, listen. So you're watching live from the Mill Casino, and I'm gonna take you down. There's a whole lot of people here watching what's happening here. And uh, there they are. Right out there on the bay. Is that link that they're plotting as a, it's that canoe's name? A canoe of that link would be three fingers thick at the bottom and two fingers thick on the side, right? So even though this canoe is, is quite a bit heavier than the stuff that our ancestors are making, our ancestors were wonderfully gifted. And here they are. Our ancestors were wonder, wonderfully gifted at making extremely light canoes. We are not quite as skilled as our ancestors, but we are worthy. We will get there. Here they come. Sorry about the wobbliness, guys, but I'm on a dock. Here they come. Watching from Alaska, that's awesome. So we are in Coos Bay for the Mill Luck Salmon Celebration. They're baking salmon the traditional way, which we'll show you later. They're making baskets. Artisans are here. Um, it's a huge celebration. This is the canoe race that just happened, and they're happening all morning long. Um, and you can see other folks are getting ready, getting their uh, paddles ready. And some of the paddles are significant of what tribe they came from, or the ancestors of these people. Now, here they come. Here they come. And they, the dugout is getting closer. Here they are. educating us. It's about them having a good time. But it's also about educating people. The rest of us. There we go. The Confederated Tribes of the Coos, Lower Umqua, and Paisla are there. We're here with the Coquel are putting on this celebration. Come here, you guys. Come here. You guys kind of had a diff disadvantage. Just a little? I mean, the, you got the guy in the back. Oh, 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 come here. Look at this boat, canoe. canoe. First time I did it. I've been so careful all the time. They'll throw you, they throw you in the water if you say boat. Take us right next to the shore, guys. Right yeah, next can, you, can you guys kind of ride up here? So where are you guys? Right up here, right here. I could help you, except that I'll probably oh, fall in. So go like this, gentlemen. Draw us into the dock. Like this. Draw. Oh. Yeah, there we go. So, you are? Doug Barrett. Why is this so important, Doug Barrett? Uh, to get back in the water, keep our traditions going, keep our dugouts in the water, keep them paddling. As you can see, this one needs a little bit of work. You got a little bit of water packing. in there. So, uh... Heritage is important, isn't it? Yes. Getting in the water, bringing everybody together, all these other canoes from everywhere. What's the significance of having the different tribes together here? Uh, just bring us back together like we used to travel on the waters, you know, thousands of years ago. Uh, mainly up in the Sound on the Columbia. A few of them came down here. Um, you got people from where here? Uh, we got people from South Slough, 
We have people from Grand Ron, um, Chinook, the Chinook family, Coquel Canoes. I think there's three Coquel Canoes. You guys are you guys are proud, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't easy. You proud of who you are? Yeah. Yes. Klamath. Yep. You guys are Klamath. 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 Now Modoc and Klamath together. So we got to get to the shore. All right, you guys go. Jumping out of the canoe. Go ahead and shoot All right, you guys go do your thing. Hey, you guys gonna tie this up? Yeah. How was it? You guys kind of kicked some booty, didn't you? Yeah. You had like four times as many people. <laughs> Is that harder than it looks? Yeah. One way to find out. Yeah. I'm letting my wife do that. Hey, Jesse. All right, you guys. So anyway, again, we are in Coos Bay, North Bend, at the Millluck Salmon Celebration, uh, where tribes are coming together. Uh, this is put on by the Coquel tribes, and later on there will be a salmon bake there. Um, later on, we're going to just a little bit. We're going to go out in a regular boat and watch the women do their canoe race, and my wife's going to participate in that with them. And then later we'll get together with a whole bunch of folks from different tribes to talk about the tribes and the Native Americans or the indigenous people here. And then, then later we're going to show you salmon being baked. This, it is the coolest picture you've ever seen in your life. I keep wanting to go over there and take another shot of it. Them doing their baking the salmon the traditional way. Um, hi Jeff from Salem. Um, this goes on for two days if you want to come down and enjoy it. It's really for us. It's for the non-indigenous people so we can understand a little bit more about what our indigenous folks here in Oregon, uh, what they lived with, what they do, how they lived. Um, I love it because, you know, we're trying to show people with Explore Again to explore Oregon. This takes you back to ancient Oregon before it was Oregon. And I think that's important. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. We'll be here all day showing you all kinds of different aspects of it. So just put, just click on here on either Rick Dancer or Get Real Rick Dancer or That Oregon Live um, on our Explore Oregon channel and then it'll notify you when we're gonna go live and we'll be with you all day long. All right, we'll see you there. So take this, share it on another page so other people can enjoy uh, what's going on here today? All right, see you later.